I do want to say one thing. It almost slipped my mind. And for those of you who have your hands up, I apologize. But I think this needs to be said. And I don't know how many of you know it. But this comes under the, uh, this, this is head, this is a news flash, folks. Uh, we interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement. A new psychoactive substance has been discovered. A very powerful psychoactive substance. The most powerful since the discovery of LSD. A substance so powerful that 300 micrograms is the dose. That means one gram will dose 7,000 people. Uh, this compound comes from a plant. The plant is, and I hope you're paying attention, the plant is legal. The compound is legal. You can possess it. You can manufacture it. You can transport it across borders. You can give it away, you can sell it, and you can do it on stage. And it comes from a plant. And the plant is also available. And, and I want to tell you about this because... I, I, okay. No shoving, no shoving. <laughs> All right, the, not to keep you in suspense any longer. Uh, the plant is salvia divinorum. Salvia divinorum, which some of you who are real mavens of this stuff know it. It's been in the books for 30 years. The problem was nobody knew how to get off. And so it was always carried in these lists as suspect hallucinogen. The thing is, any scientist confronted with a plant where somebody says it's a hallucinogen will test to see if it's an alkaloid. All hallucinogens, almost all, are alkaloids. So salvia divinorum, negative for alkaloids. Doesn't matter. It has a new unknown compound in it, now known, salvorine alpha. And the interesting thing about salvorine alpha is we have in this country what's called a structural near relatives or cogener law, which says if a compound is a structural near relative, isomer, endantiomer, or stereoisomer of an illegal compound, then it too can be made illegal. Salvia divinorum doesn't fit this description. That means that in order to make this stuff illegal, the government will have to present medical data showing there is something wrong with it. And at this stage, nobody on earth knows the real pharmacological parameters of this compound. So here's the deal. You can grow this plant in a window box, in your apartment, in your backyard. It looks like Joe Plant. There is nothing particularly distinguishing about this plant. And if you have three or four cuttings in six or seven months, you will have more than you know what to do with. The, and, and then I'll just describe how I do it. I have not, I'm slightly chicken shit to do the pure compound, which by the way, you do 300 micrograms understand that what that looks like is a grain of salt. A small grain of salt is a human effective dose. It comes on so fast that you have no impression of it coming on at all. You do it, and then after a while you notice that for a long time you have been staring at something incomprehensible. <laughs> Well, let me. Here's how I recommend that you do it while we get the chemical thing sorted out. Because the chemical, it could be dangerous. It would be very easy to overdose by a factor of 10, 20, 30, and you would still just be doing a smidgen. So I say, let's honor the plants. Let's not hand the government a bunch of casualties that it can cluck over and put on national TV, you know, the Bibble, Bibble, Bibble show. Uh, let's...